Um, it's one of those things you just don't know what you're going to come across. These machines are like having access to a time machine. Ah. What is it you found here? Tarpaulin ring from a wartime tent. You just don't know what's coming up and that, that's the wonder of the hobby. But if you do find something significant, what happens next in England, Wales and Northern Ireland depends on whether it's defined as treasure. As things stand, an artefact is classed as treasure if it's more than 300 years old and made in part from a precious metal such as gold or silver, or if it's more than 300 years old and one of a number of items found together, or a hoard as it's known. Treasure is offered to museums first to see if they want to buy it. It's a way of keeping nationally important items on public display. The Treasure Act protects our heritage, enables finds that we make in fields like this to go into national museums so everybody can share them. If it's not treasure, it can be sold straight to a private collector. That's what happened to this Roman helmet found in Cumbria. Made of copper, which is not a precious metal, it wasn't deemed treasure and it was sold for more than £2 million to a private collector. So this is our Beerus Britannicus. Chelmsford um, Museum nearly missed out on this rare Roman figurine because it's made of a copper alloy and not a precious metal. Because it wasn't classed as treasure, um, when we were looking to acquire this, the detectorist had sold it to a buyer abroad. Um, we had to have the government um, intervene, essentially, um, and put in a trade export ban um, to keep this within the country. The government is proposing to change the legal definition of treasure. It would encompass all exceptional finds over 200 years old, regardless of what metal they're made of. And a new significance test would apply. If an item is connected to a particular area, individual or historical event, it could be classed as treasure. What do you make of these proposed changes? Would they help your museum? Yes, they'll be very positive for us. We'll be able to get first refusal on um, keeping any items like this that are historically significant but not made of a precious material. Julian and Brian might share a love of metal detecting, but on the proposed law change, there's a difference of opinion. Do you worry about these proposed changes and the impact they might have? Yes, I do. It's going to make it difficult for a start because nobody will know what the rules are again. So what the government needs to do, if they're going to change it, is publicise it well and make sure it's explained well. I welcome them with open arms because at the end of the day, it's an extension of metal detecting. Our job is to protect, find and save, conserve her our heritage. If anyone else is going to develop laws and le legal issues to help us do that, that's absolutely brilliant. No spectacular discoveries today in this farmer's field in Essex. <sighs> Piece of coke from the old traction engines. But with metal detecting, you never quite know what's around the corner or below your feet.